Hey everyone, Felipe here. Welcome to another Tarot Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the new Battle Pass card, Paladin Queen of Water, Madeline. Madeline is going to be a light human card with a CD8 skill and has the following effect. Damage received will be reduced by 20%. Upon receiving damage from the enemy's attacks, this damage reducing effect increases by 10% to the max damage received of minus 40. The skill stays in play or until deactivated. This skill can be deactivated at any time, and upon the activation, turn all runestones into enchanted human runes. In my opinion, this active skill is just okay. It's not bad by any means, however, defensive options in TOS aren't as useful as other uh, effects, specifically attacking attack increasing effects. This is because a lot of cards in the game will have crescendos, or they will have shield breakers or percent damage reduction, which means that defensive skills are not that useful um, and only really come into play situationally, uh, specifically if the enemy already has insane amounts of attack or one of the skills that I mentioned before. This is be uh, this is for this reason having a defensive skill is not as useful as having another utility or attack boosting card. Um, this card is going to be a consistent damage reduction skill because the effect will stay in play until the activation or defeat it, which means that it does provide you a little bit of buffer to survive certain stages, specifically stages that don't have enemies that counter defensive skills like Tumblr um, and damage reduction. But in my opinion, it might be better to run other cards that can help you increase your damage and kill the enemies before they even hit you. However, there are specific situations where this might be really good, specifically for enemies that can ambush you for really high damage. This is a card that provides defense over rounds. A lot of cards will only pro provide defense the moment you activate them, which does not protect you from ambushes. However, since this is a continuous effect, if you encounter an enemy with ambush, you are still able to reduce that damage unless they have um, enemy um, shield breaking dam uh, enemy skills. For that reason, I think this card might see some use, but overall, I do still think that defensive skills are not that useful, and it might be better to have another utility card or damage boosting card in your uh, team. That being said, this is a free battle pass card, which everyone will have access to. So if you don't have that expansive of an inventory and you don't have that many um, light humans in your team or in your inventory so far, this could be a good option specifically for early and mid game where enemy skills are not that long and extensive or have a long ass paragraph. Um, early and mid game contact will be really um, good for this card because it will help you clear all those uh, stages really easily however for more end game content i do recommend running a more offensive or utility heavy team build rather than having a damage reduction card specifically because the max damage reduction is 40 percent which uh, compared to some cards that will help you reduce 80 percent 60 percent it is not as high uh, but yeah Overall, not a bad card, but definitely has a lot of other options that you can use instead of this card, specifically if you're a long-time player and have a large amount of light humans in your inventory pool. That's all I wanted to say about this card, and so, but yeah, as always, to let me know in the comments if I said anything wrong or if I missed out on anything, and stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone!